that turns the muzzle gray earlier. Um, I think it pulls out the hair. So I just use straight scissors and try to get right down in there and get those whiskers all the way down to the skin as close as I can. Sometimes this is a little harder to do on a puppy. So sometimes when you're first starting, you don't have to do them quite so tight. You can just kind of do it like that on a puppy, and that works out well. If you have an adult that will behave, the tighter you get them, the smoother they'll look. And we always miss one that we notice in the ring. A lot of dogs get hair right here between the corners of their eyes, mm -hmm. and it's distracting to me. I take my thinning shears, and I take that off. Just real gently, don't go all the way down to the skin. Just creates a little softer expression. Well, we got the, the head shape. Let me get rid of the whiskers, of course, to make that look smooth. Goes to his head. Now again, a dog this size of a head, I'm gonna clipper these whiskers off, okay? The reason is, is he's got enough muzzle here that he can support losing a little bit of tips. If you have a dog that's real refined or slightly you know, refined or relaxed under jaw, things like that. You wouldn't want to use clippers. You want to spend the time and going with your, going with your uh, straight scissors. Just pull the whip line back. Start at the back whip line. Come forward. Now I use a, I use an old eight and a half. It is not real sharp. And the reason I like that is because I'm not going to dig into them. Because you know, all it takes is. One time and it's jerked and you got mistakes all over. <laughs> and I'm just grazing the, the lips. Stop. I just make sure that the whiskers are all gone. And tip them. Every once in a while you'll still have to come back in there and, and get, uh, get a few by, uh, by straight scissors. But it does the job nicely. So you still have to do the lip line even though you...